Here we have a 2000 Yamaha Zuma scooter, 50cc, and uh, a pipe or expansion chamber was uh, uh, given to us in this situation. And uh, we learned that the, the modifications have to be done. And the modifications are springs and rollings. And we're gonna show you how to do it. Here's the expansion chamber. All right, first, you gotta move a couple screws from this lower panel. You gotta move this foot peg. The cover has to come off, a series of bolts. Pretty simple, straightforward. Take the bolts off. First, you gotta get these nuts loose. This is your variator, and this is your clutch. 17 millimeter here, 24 back here. Take the stuff off. A shim here. And you have to take this off as one piece, because if you don't, it falls apart. This is what it does if you don't do that. The first thing here is we have the, the clutch part, and we've got to get this nut off of here. This is an inch and a half socket. And it's now it's loosened up, and I'm going to push down because this is spring-loaded. I'm going to be pushing down, and he's just going to spin the nut off. And then if you notice the, you know, the big spring here. And this is where the... The little springs that we need to replace are, are located. Go around on a circle here and get these springs out. Now we're just putting in the very last spring. We're not going to lie to you, these springs aren't the easiest thing to get in. And that's that. Okay, now we're just uh, changing the rollers on the variator. They come in different weights, and so all we know for sure is that these are much lighter weight than the original factory ro uh, rollers. Put the cover back on. Only goes on one way. There you go. Now we're just putting the clutch back together. All right. Clutch is done. While you got the clutch off, it's probably good to throw a little bit of grease at this bearing. And if you can, this bearing. This collar uh, sleeve that's in the uh, variator, you should probably throw grease at it while it's apart.